Hey, well now this is something I like to see. Open books, open mind, and a closed refrigerator. Hey, Dad. Hi, hey. Dr. Oxbow. Walter, would you like to stay for dinner tonight? Oh, I'm sure, but I have to call home first. That's what I like. See a young man calling his parents for asking for permission. No, Dad, he's not calling to ask for permission. He's calling to find out what they're having for dinner at his house. If our dinner sounds better, he'll eat here. <laughs> uh, Walter, just let me say three words. Bar, B, Q. <laughs> I'm eating here. <laughs> uh, well, I hope we still have an appetite mm -hmm. after studying this stuff. What stuff? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, I thought you took that last year. We did. But guess where he showed up today? History <laughs> class. Well, Shakespeare was a part of history. Yeah, but Dad, that's not fair. I think they should make up their minds. Is he literature or is he history? He can't be both. You see, <laughs> we're studying ancient Rome. Uh -huh. And we have to read something about Julius Caesar. So the teacher gave us a choice. We could either read a book by Plutarch, which was this thick, mm -hmm. or we could read Julius Caesar by Shakespeare, which is only this thick. The class voted for this. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know what Theo and I know, that Shakespeare is a drag to read. Well, now, wait a minute. Julius Caesar is quite interesting. I mean, they have good guys, bad guys. And, and isn't there a car chase in there? <laughs> well, if it was, I wouldn't know it. Dad, this is not even written in English. Listen, don't worry about a thing brighten up, fellas, because tonight's meal is going to take all of your bad thoughts away. What are we having? Well, I'm going to go out. I'm going to bar B. Cute. And then I'm going to make something that goes right along with what you guys are studying. Caesar salad. Hey, hey, how you doing? How's the study? We're done. Yeah. After what we heard tonight, Shakespeare really started to make some sense. And now we've made it make even more sense. Uh, how? Well, we were upstairs practicing Mark Antony's speech, Friends, Romans, Countrymen. Yeah. You want to hear it? Well, go with all this. Okay. <laughs> I say friends. I uh, let me hold your ear. And Romans. I uh, let me hold your ear. I say countrymen. I uh, let me hold your ear. No, I'm Marcus Antonius, but they call me Mark. I didn't come to bite. You see, I came to bark about the holes that the brothers put in Julius C. As far as I'm concerned, it was cool with me. You see, Brutus and the boys must know what they were doing. Caesar was about to run to Rome to ruin, cause Brutus is cool. All Caesar did was to Romanize the world and put some bronze in the palm of every boy and girl. But the man so chill that when they handed him the crown, Caesar said, No, baby. And turned the crown down. But Brutus, he said, he said he's into greed, which is how he justified the odds of Marge deed. But Brutus is cool. I say chill, homeboy, my house with Dr. J. So let's get busy till it comes this way. Dr. was singing to the bridge. Pam, 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 pam. Do -do 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 Little Caesar scene before Homeboy Blue was to drop some old gold on each one of you. JC was your father. JC was your brother. And what I want to know when comes such another great, great Caesar's ghost. The great Caesar's ghost. He's chilly, long from coast to coast. A great Caesar's ghost. A great Caesar's ghost.